development was going on, we ourselves as an African Union, and in particular the Bureau of the African Union, of which I was a member, chaired by the South African President, Cyril Ramaphosa, we took a decision that we are also not going to sit back and, and wait uh, until such time that a vaccine has been discovered. We will also begin the pro a proactive process of ensuring that this vaccine is also going to be able to be available to people across the continent. And in fact, I am happy to say as a result of that initiative, we are standing here today barely a few weeks after the most developed countries and beginning our own process of vaccination, whereas previously we would probably have had to wait for years and years while the rest of the world was moving ahead. But this time round, because of the proactive nature that we adopted, because of working together as an African continent, we are barely weeks behind the rest of the world. And I think this is the spirit that we in Africa must continue to adopt until we overcome this disease, but even as we face other challenges as we move forward. And I also once again would like to say I'm thanking all those partners who have supported not only Kenya, but the African continent in this particular process. All right, one on this side, and then I finish last one on that side. Uh, mchana, jina langu ni kazo gunga kutoka runinga ya citizen. Pengine tu kuuliza, uh, taifa letu ndiyo tumeanza kupeana chanjo, lakini ukiangalia taifa la Tanzania, mbalu ni jirani yetu, uh, hawaja tilia mkazo sana maswala ya corona. Je, ni vipi ambavo takikishia wa Kenya kwamba watakuwa uh, wamekingwa na chanjo hii, licha ya kwamba mataifa mingine jirani hayaja tilia mkazo swala la corona. Na pengine kama kuna maongezi ya kuona kwamba uh, taifa la Tanzania South African Broadcasting ya kwamba tumeungana sisi kama muungano ya mataifa ya Afrika AU kuona vile tutasaidiana pamoja kupambana na huu ukimu, huu ugonjwa na tutaendelea hivyo na tutaendelea kuhimizia wananchi wetu wa Kenya ya kwamba huu ugonjwa ni hatari na ni ugonjwa ambao unachukua maisha na ombi letu ni ya kwamba wenzetu wote watafuata eh, 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 huo muongozo. Kwa hivyo mimi sitaki kusema juu ya vile mwingine ama mwingine ama mwingine atafanya kila inchi iko na serikali yake na uongozi wake e, watawaambia nyinyi wenyewe mipangilio ile wako naye kuhusu inchi zao. Yangu ile nimetangaza leo ni ile mipangilio tuko naye kuhusu inchi yetu ya Kenya na hiyo nimewaeleza na kusema ya kwamba tuko tiari kuendelea kufanya kazi na wenzetu wa Afrika na wenzetu wa dunia kuhakikisha ya kwamba sisi zote tumejipuka na tumejikinga na tumejilinda na tumeondoa huu ugonjwa kati yetu last one President, uh, my name is Eunice Omolo from NTV. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. When are you and other leaders going to lead by example and get the job? And then number two, you've said that the first batch, uh, we didn't, it didn't cost Kenya, I think. So do we have plans of purchasing extra vaccines in order to cater for the population? Um. Uh, let me start with your second one. Yes, of course, because the, the vaccines that are here are not enough. And I think if I am not wrong, we are expecting another batch in? Yeah, in at the end of April. End of March? Yeah, end of March, towards April. End of March, April, we are expecting another batch. So we will continue to receive uh, uh, the vaccine until uh, all our people are effectively covered across, across the country. 
uh, with regard to whether we will lead by example. I leave, these are the people who will tell us. I told you, we have a policy. Yeah? The same person who is saying, ukiona ni kichanjwa, munasema, wakubwa wameenda kuchanjwa. Uko, uko, uko. Uyo mdomo yako ndiyo itasema tu iyo. Eh? <laughs> Kwa hivyo, hawa wakituambia ya kwamba, this is the way, in order, they will tell us. And we will follow, like I said, ours is the policy. The policy is clear. If the professionals tell us this is the way and this is what we need to do in order for A, B, C, D to lead by example, as they will tell us. And we will abide by by the uh, uh, directions that we are given by, by our, our health experts. They are the ones who will tell us. But as of now, mine is to give you the policy, the details of how it shall be implemented. The professionals will be the ones to, to respond to that question. Last one. Uh, thank you, sir. My name is Purity Muse from Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. My question is, as president and Kenya, is there a target in, in regard to or in terms of the number of people that Kenya need or hopes to vaccinate before the end of the year? Uh, again, I, I, I don't think I am in a position to, to answer that, that technical. Amos Kuja, Apa, Shika. Thank you, Your Excellency. We are going to roll out the vaccination in phases. Between now and 30th of June, we target to vaccinate 1.25 million people, as clearly illustrated by His Excellency the President. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, we are doing the vaccination in phases. Phase one, which starts from now until 30th of June, targets 1.25 million Kenyans. And then phase two will commence thereafter to target about 9.6 million Kenyans. Thank you. Huh? Uh -huh. uh, see to okay, one, two more. Ndiyo msiseme nilitoroka. Sikusikia. Mr. President, good afternoon. Afternoon. My name is Ben Kirera from K24 Television. And my question is, um, even before Kenya was uh, planning to, you know, purchase the vaccines, we still had our very own uh, process of developing our very own vaccine in Kilifi. I'd just like to know, just to confirm, how far are we with that particular development? Thank you. Uh, I, 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 um, let me just say what I know. I, we were, we were partnering in, in terms of, of uh, going through the, uh, what is it called? Uh, clinical, the, uh, clinical trials. Uh, and, and that is what we have been partnering with and we will continue to partner with all international organizations towards that. And ultimately, as I said when I was meeting diplomats earlier, I was congratulating. It is not to say that hopefully our own scientists and researchers cannot also come up with uh, something. We will continue to encourage uh, our own local researchers and scientists uh, to come up also with uh, vaccines or, or, or uh, new innovations that can help us combat this uh, disease. But as of now, we will continue to partner with our international uh, uh, um, uh, partners in terms of clinical trials and etc. to establish efficacy and other such issues. Last one. My name is Elizabeth Kivuva from Business Daily Nation. Uh, the information that you have received from Health Ministry is uh, the, for the last category can receive their vaccine in 2023, which seems to be a long period of time. I just wanted to know whether there is a plan maybe to involve the private players in maybe shipping and uh, maybe bringing in uh, some vaccines. Again, that's a t you can answer that. Me, I can't. <laughs> This is better. Thank you, sir. Uh, as you have lightly said, uh, Your Excellency, uh, some of these discussions about how we are going to do it and the rollout thereof is uh, also dependent on the supply chain and, where and how quickly we can get the vaccines from the suppliers. Because let's not forget that the reason why we can't roll out everything immediately 
has also got something to do with the fact that we cannot get enough vaccines. So what we are doing at the ministry is planning to acquire as quickly as possible and going forward uh, to see how soon we can go into the rest of the population. But at the extreme side, uh, if you look at uh, the plans, even places like uh, Europe, there are those planning all the way up to 2023 and so on. So when, if we can get them faster, we will do it a lot faster than the predictions that have been made. And uh, Your Excellency, among the people who are dealing with this issue is Dr. Willy Zakwale, who is the one who has been handling the whole chain of where we are getting and how we are moving and how we are going to vaccinate people and the entire safety of everything. And therefore, uh, Your Excellency, there is a good plan. The fact that um, we have told you that it will take about two years simply means that that is what the supply chain is predicting. But of course, if we can do it faster, then we'll do it a lot faster. And then let's not also forget that once we have vaccinated the very vulnerable groups, then the, the, the rate of infections would uh, essentially start dropping. And as we go on, for example, sir, we are also expecting some vaccines that will only be one dose instead of uh, two doses. So the progress in the industry will also determine the speed at which we are able to execute this particular responsibility. Thank you very much. Uh, I said three and I've done more. I think it's fair. Uh, just to once again, I thank all these wonderful people for their continued hard work and everything that they continue doing. I want to, uh, again, uh, through our partners, uh, UNICEF, WHO, but particularly UNICEF, to reiterate that despite the fact that we are also we are, we, are, we, are, we are going to continue with this uh, a battle against COVID. It will also not interrupt the great work that we are doing together in terms of our children, vaccinations on various other diseases. That program will also continue side by side by this. And we continue to thank UNICEF, WHO, and all our other partners who continue to support us in this process of vaccination, not just for COVID, but also for other uh, areas. Kwa hayo machache na mengi, nasema mungu wa bariki na mungu wa linde. Asante ni sana. Fanya hivi, wete remuka tu chini. Ata watu wanangochea, hey, unasema unio, ah, sininakuwana ndio huyu kuyu.